Hi all. So today I'm back with gynecology. The topic is vulvitis. It is from your unit 4. Okay. Vulvitis is an infection inflammation of the vulva. It is a fungal infection. Vulva is a soft portion outside the genitalia area. Okay. Labia majora, labia minora. Now you have to think about your anatomy. Fine. Then etiology. Etiology, it mainly because of allergy to certain substances. We they use deodorants, vaginal spray, vaginal soap. Okay, allergies, sanitary napkins, allergy. Okay, uh, then if there is any chlorinated water in contact, uh, like uh, we can say swimming pool water, okay, hot tubs water, then uh, and any STDs, chlamydial and uh, gonorrheal infection. Okay poor personal hygiene certain other causes are like leptomyelitis herpes simplex infection okay then dermatitis it's an infection inflammation of the dermis it's a skin layer okay then post it is mostly seen in post um, menopausal woman post menopausal woman menopause means it's a stoppage of menstruation okay so post menopausal means after menopausal few years later this woman is uh, diagnosed with pulvitis because the estrogen level decreased okay because of that they are finally uh, diagnosed with pulvitis now moving on to the signs and symptoms usually the person will be having severe itching okay and that itching will be for prolonged okay severe itching redness burning sensation swelling in the genital area okay then um, tenderness will be the touch pain okay soreness will be present thick patches will be there patches means like uh, dot 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 patches okay then vaginal discharge will be there okay and that uh, foul smell will be there for the vagina and there will be blister formation and the blister will be filled with fluid clear fluid filled blisters okay then uh, moving on with the diagnostic evaluation history collection physical examination pelvic examination will be done and the most thing is pap smear i think so we had discussed about pap smear right then uh, uh, std is also a cause so blood test will be done okay then in rare cases skin biopsy will be done okay if it is not treatment is not done and not uh, dystropia okay well well dystropia and all can occur as a complication at that time we will be doing skin biopsy okay treatment is like the first cause is the irritation or allergy okay so avoid the irritant if you know it is because of this uh, vaginal spray or if it is because of um, swimming pool or whatever it is okay chlorinated water whatever it is avoid the irritator then uh, it is easily treated within weeks okay within few weeks we can treat it because it's acute okay and then estrogen creams can be given for postmenopausal women because the estrogen level is decreasing antifungal cream can be given because it is an antifungal infection okay and then we can uh, advise a patient to have a sitz bath or warm compression given there okay then i'm sorry calamine lotions can be applied okay then the most thing we have to advise the patient is that their inner garments should be washed and dried under sunlight okay then complication i as i have already discussed dystrophia will be there vulval well, dystrophia because of that we will be doing skin biopsy dystrophia will occur only when we are not treated okay uh, the symptoms will be there but the person is not going for any uh, examination and it will end up in dystrophia okay then prevention how can we prevent okay for stds we can use condom okay then improve self care okay that is ex exactly i should say perennial care okay uh, then uh, decrease uh, stress get enough sleep eat nutritious healthy diet okay then if vulvitis is reoccurring okay women should try wearing cotton panties and all that is the prevention side okay i think i have uh, touched all the area so if you have any doubts please let me know okay uh, this is like very small 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 i'm finishing first because i'm keeping it big the last so that at least uh, once the clinical manifestation comes if i say well it is you should understand that's why i'm taking small small units now i hope you all understood okay take care